Yeah. So this is Five Minutes with Bill Brock, Managing Director at Analog Folk. Hi Bill. Hello. Um, can you give us a quick summary of your career to date? Sure. Uh, I started in San Francisco uh, 17 years ago as a photographer. Uh, spent uh, two years as, uh, doing that and then I uh, ended up, well I wasn't a brilliant photographer, so I ended up as a... Uh, uh, working for a digital agency called Red Sky, did that for five years. How did you know you weren't a good photographer? Were you told or did you realise? <laughs> um, every picture that I took that I loved never got published, and every <laughs> picture that I took that I hated would get published. Right. Uh, and um, it was much more, I found it much more, uh, I guess, both emotionally and financially fulfilling uh, in the world of advertising, with a bit more structure around your, the brief. Uh, and yeah, so I did that and then um, worked for Red Sky in San Francisco for five years. Uh, opened a restaurant in San Francisco um, back in 2002. Whilst you were still working there? or Yeah, yeah night job. Okay. Wasn't enough work in advertising. Uh, and then um, moved here to the UK in 2004 and worked for um, agency.com for, uh, for about a year and a half here and then for Tribal for five years as a managing director, and then Matt Dyke and I founded Analog Folk about three and a half years ago. Cool. Um, why advertising after photography? I, I think the creative process. I really love being a part of the creative process. I grew up in a family of bankers, uh, and I never really felt um, driven by that. Uh, and so really enjoyed the creative process uh, and it just lets you be a kid all day. Apart from analog folk, if you could work at any other agency in the world, where would it be? <laughs> well, that's a good question. Uh, I guess I admire the work of IDEO probably more than anyone else. Um, and it's going to be really boring maybe in, in, in the sense that they do incredible stuff, but I actually really like the way they're structured and the way that they sort of bond teams together and they can be in any geography, but it's all around a particular brief and bringing people in and kind of um, converging and diverging with interesting creative talent. What's the best thing about agency life for you? Uh, it keeps you young and makes you old at the same time. <laughs> uh, but I mean, you know, analog for we've got. Uh, 40 people in London and probably the average age is 28, 29 um, which is about 10 years older than my age <laughs> so it keeps you young I guess that's representative of the industry as well yeah, yeah it's great that way. who inspires you? Um, <clears throat> I really like uh, I mean I'm really inspired by the hospitality industry probably more than anything and I guess that's why um I'm much more drawn to the interactive side of marketing, but I really like hotels and restaurants um, and that kind of immersive customer experience that they create. So the likes of Ian Traeger and um, uh, Heston Blumenthal and, you know, sort of those more kind of, I guess, high profile, typical ones, as well as a lot more kind of, uh, I guess, a lot less well-known uh, boutique hotel and restaurant owners that just create incredibly immersive experiences for customers cool okay who's the best creative you've ever worked with um, I guess Matt Dyke would want me to say it was him even though he's not a creative <laughs> yeah. technically um, I worked with a, a few incredible uh, creatives in San Francisco at Red Sky uh, and actually interestingly Red Sky was a um, interactive agency, which Analog Folk has um, we've pitched ourselves as um, thinking about the world of technology and how it brings things to life in more interesting ways. Uh, and it was uh, founded by a guy named Joel uh, Haladacek and Tim Smith, who were both um, very creative. Um, Joel were the traditional creative director, and Joel brought in. A whole creative team, a guy named Kurt Gibbons, Clay Jensen, um, Genevieve Moore, and they were all, um, they all came from uh, really varied backgrounds. None of them were from advertising backgrounds. So Joel made ride films um, uh, at 
amusement parks and uh, roller coasters. With all creative people at heart. Exactly. And so I think the most exciting work um, before Analog Folk, the most exciting work I've ever done was there. And was that more multimedia and new media uh, and DVD ROMs? And yeah, it was scary media. <laughs> we, it was when it was, uh, I always seem like, I feel like an old man when I talk around the hallways of Analog Folk about the days when you would have to use C++ and Director and Shockwave and uh, and when your testing and QA cycles were longer than your creative cycles because nothing actually fit together or worked the way it was supposed to. Um, so um, so yeah, it was a it was an exciting and different time and, and everything. Um, you were so limited in terms of what you could do online because of bandwidth um, that you had to be really creative in how it came to life. What does someone have to do to creatively impress you? Um, I, I think craft skills. Probably. The graphic design, craft. Yeah, more than anything. Detail. I mean, it's 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 a cliche to say everyone is creative, right? But I think what people when people say that, what they really mean is that anyone can come up with a great idea. You don't have to go to art school or learn to be a copywriter or go to school for photography um, for a particular craft to come up with a really creative idea. And I think as the advertising world moves from, you know, 30 second boxes or 96 sheets or specific formats to kind of anything, that even opens that up further that anyone can kind of come up with a really interesting creative idea. But the ability to take that idea and give it the magic that incredible art direction or beautiful copywriting does um, is something that very few people can do. So I'd say craft skill. Okay. In the current economic climate with things not looking so good, have you ever had the threat of redundancy before? Uh, no. Uh, we're lucky because we launched, uh, in fact, we launched the month that in the FT they officially announced that it's a recession. So uh, that sounds like a really unfortunate position to be in, but actually it was really fortunate because it meant that we never really grew beyond ourselves. We never, um, if we had started six months earlier, I think we could easily have have uh, become too big and had to move backwards. Um, and I think if we'd launched, well, if we'd gone six months later, maybe we'd never have launched. <laughs> uh, but we've been fortunate and and. Like you say, there's no better time to, to launch a company than in a recession. You learn how to fight. You learn how to fight scrap and, uh, and also how to live without. And I think uh, for us, as a result of that, we've had an incredible last two years where we've grown from 20 to 50 people, really, uh, including Sydney. And however, we've done it um, without a, uh, I guess, with a reminder that, of what, how hard it can be. And it means that you're much more deliberate about the decisions you make. What has been your favourite account to work on? I'm not allowed to say that. Come on. Okay. <laughs> all of them. Okay. I love them all equally. That's like really having fun. children and asking them. <laughs> Which are the um, and what's your favourite advertising campaign of all time? Of all time. Wow. Uh, I think the one that makes me laugh still is the Budweiser Real Men of Genius radio spots that's probably the one that still when I hear them I just think so obvious but also so, such genius uh, I think you know you can't have spent any time at DDB without mentioning Volkswagen um, you know I think what Volkswagen has done in the UK for the last 40 years and what DDB has done for them is remarkable and they continue to make incredible ads um, and uh, I think there's a couple that we're coming up with right now that might <laughs> okay. might make that list. Let's move on to a quick fire round. Sure. FWA or NMA? FWA. Fruit or veg? Fruit. Can line or DNAD pencil? Can line. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Art directors or copywriters? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I guess as a photographer, I'd say art directors. <laughs> Apple or Android? Uh, Apple. Degree or no degree? Degree. If only for the parties. Ant or deck? 
Um, I didn't grow up in this country to be able to answer that question. <laughs> neither? Can I say neither? No, okay, fine. <laughs> retained work or pitch work? Uh, retained work. Web or mobile? Uh, God, both. Independent agencies or networked agencies? Independent agencies. <laughs> Outsource production or on-site production? On-site. And lastly, twist or stick? Stick. Thank you very much.